There is no better coping mechanism during a tragedy than to accept it as part of the wise Qadr decree of Allah. It's one of the six pillars of faith, belief in Qadr, for a reason. Allah Almighty said, ما أصاب من مصيبة إلا بإذن الله. No disaster strikes except by the permission of Allah. ومن يؤمن بالله يهدي قلبه. And whoever believes in Allah, he will guide his heart. What does that mean, whoever believes in Allah, Allah will guide his heart? One of their predecessors, al he said, this verse is in reference to a person who is struck with a calamity, but realizes that it is from Allah. And so he surrenders to it and he is content. He is pleased. Who is Allah accountable to? No one. Who is Allah answerable to? Absolutely no one. He is Al-Malik, King of the creation, sovereign of the heavens and the earth. He is free to do within his dominion as he pleases. We are answerable to him and he is not answerable to anyone. Allah Almighty said, Inna Allah, ma yureed. Allah does what he wills. Allahu Akbar, it's his domain, it's his creation, we are his. I mean, you saw the old Turkish man who was filmed being pulled out of the rubble and only to tell the rescue team, pull out the Quran before me. Another elderly man who was laying flat on his face beneath the fallen ceiling of his home, crushing him. The old man was saying, how, I need to pray. How, how can I make wudu? Where's the water? So they accepted Allah's kingship over them. They submitted to his decree, despite being at the heart of the tragedy. That's a humbling reality.